Hello! In this tutorial, we will be going over the basics of regular expressions. Regular expressions are used repeatedly for triggers and aliases, so I felt it important to cover this topic before those. This website is regex101.com, and it is my favorite website for creating and testing regular expression patterns. It breaks your pattern down and allows you to test it against one or more test strings. It also has a very nice reference for what the different wildcards and symbols mean within a regular expression down here in the bottom right hand corner. Mudlet uses the PCRE regular expression engine, so you'll want to select this over on the left. In a nutshell, regular expressions allow you to match text which changes and capture information out of it. For instance, if your game sends a goblin falls over dead, like so, you can match it with a dot plus falls over dead. Putting the dot plus in parentheses tells it you want to capture that information, which is why it is called a capture group. The dot is a wild card which can stand in for anything, and the plus tells it to match one or more. So in a goblin falls over dead, the first capture group would be goblin. And you can see this in the bottom right here. Using the dot wildcard is a very simple way to capture things, but where possible, you should try to be more specific. For instance, if all mob names are letters or numbers only, you could instead use backslash W, which stands for letters or numbers. If instead what you wanted was only numbers, you could use backslash D and can be used something to match like 10038 gold on you with backslash D plus gold on you. If the number might have a comma in it, then you would instead want to use backslash D comma inside of square brackets like this. The brackets allow you to define your own groups how you want. In this case, we add the comma to the backslash D so that it will catch any number of digits or commas. Backslash S will match white space characters such as spaces or tabs. And it is often good to use the caret anchor to anchor to the beginning of the string so that your trigger doesn't match if the text appears in a room description or comes up during conversation. In a similar vein, the dollar sign matches the end of the string. I'll put a link in the description to regex101, and we'll have a future video on more advanced regular expression usage, but these are the basics you'll run into the most while making aliases and triggers using regular expressions. I have also just recently learned of another website called regexlearn.com, which looks like it may be a wonderful resource for learning regular expressions, and I'll include a link to that in the description as well. In today's video, we went over the basics of regular expressions, what they are, and how to use them, and I shared with you my personal favorite site for creating and testing regular expressions. In future videos, we will use this knowledge to create aliases and triggers in order to have Muddlet help you with the interactions between you and your game. I hope this video was informative and helpful, and I look forward to creating and sharing the next one with you all. Until then, happy mudding!